hello everybody, Matt back with some more RDR2 with you. It's uh, been a little bit, I think uh, seven, eight days, something like that. I think the last time I uploaded an RDR2 video was when I was on my trip. So um, hey, we're going to hop back into it today. Um, we've got one thing on our mind that we're going for. Good uh, morning, Arthur. Oh, shut up, I don't want to talk to you Dutch. We do need to actually come back and do a lot of talking to everybody because uh, obviously we're doing our 100% completion and we do need to kind of learn some backstory but also get some item requests from everybody. I think I may have gone over that before. If not, we will in the future. So, at any rate, um, yeah, we've got uh, one thing in mind, but yeah, again, actually two. So, first thing we need to do is, I'd saved my game last time after we finished that mission for uh, Strauss, but I didn't actually buy the leatherworking tools and save the game. So, no big deal. We'll do that real quick. Put them in there. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, now we need to go into our ledger, and we're going to purchase those tools again. Because our main focus in this mission is we are going to go through and create, uh, craft our first satchel. We want to go ahead and get that done. So, let's go ahead and just purchase those tools. Do it. Alright, good. Yeah. So, we've now updated that. Upgraded it, I should say. So, Pearson's going to be able to do that for us. So, we are going to go after the first one. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Called in on the small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. <laughs> I know. I know. I think we'd already seen that in the last episode, but I'm not worried about it. You can watch it again. That's a short one. But at any rate, we're going to come over here to uh, Pearson real quick. We are going to do crafting upgrades. So you got to look I'm at the ingredients we need. At the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. There we go. So, we need to have a perfect deer pelt, a perfect buck pelt, and a perfect elk pelt. That's a pretty simple one. So, that's what we're going after. So, it, we're going to go get on uh, Miss C. Trisket over here. Slept until the morning so we could start fresh and early. Plus, that's when uh, we're going to find the most deer out. You kind of find them out at all times. I think night, you don't really see them much, but... We certainly do during the morning and day, but I said there's two things we're going after. We are going to go get us a weapon. We need to upgrade, so we need to get up to Valentine. So let's pop ourselves out here with our trusty waypoint. Hopefully we don't just uh, hop in on top of somebody. Backwards horse, and we are good. Cool. So let everything render in, and we're just going to go ahead and get us a weapon. Uh, we're going to get us a rifle, because those are nice to have. Ah, I love new marksmen in town. Welcome. <laughs> well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Well, that's what we're going to go after, so let's, let's go ahead and open that up. Revolvers. Don't want that. We want the rifle. Come on. Let's get to that section. Got carbines, repeaters. Okay, so is there... Nope, oh, can't buy anything upgraded other than the uh, Springfield, but that's fine. Got to use a little bit of our hard-earned money. Huh. So let's go ahead and also upgrade it. Thought so about let's get our rifling. That helps our nice range. Ones. Stop talking to me. I hate when y'all do that. Let's go ahead and improve our accuracy good, a little bit good. by the improved sights. Get the scope. I don't I use that nice again on the carbines. Here. I think you should take one. Would you shut up, man? But I do on the uh, the rifles. They're good. We again. can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Stock that does nothing for us other than aesthetics. We do want yep, to wrap this so is it the doesn't one. degrade as fast. Get the styles. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. I'm doing it. Uh, Y'all do know my style. I like the blue steel on the metal. It's kind of expensive, but it's fun. Don't care about engravings or the carvings. That just gets covered up by the wrap. The leather we want to go ahead and do in our chocolate. And our varnish we're going to do in the ebony. I think it's number eight, seven. Okay, there we go. Cool. So that looks good. Oh, we do need to get some ammo for it. As you see, there are different I'd types of ammo. i up on extra ammo. We're doing that. The express uh, really upgrades the damage. The uh, high velocity gives you the range. So we're going to go with express on Yours this one. Now. You know what? Good, Why not do good. both? Won't hurt to do that. So now that he will uh, finally stop talking to us. 
maybe. All right, there we go. We can go ahead and head back that out to good. a good hunting oh, ground because we need to get us that doe, that Thanks. buck, and the elk. Ooh, didn't expect her to be there. So we're going to pop up to Emerald Ranch. Gone over before why this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite places for hunting. So we're just going to pop right there. Let me check something real quick where we are. Okay, good. So that looks like as good a spot as any. Pop in, backwards horse, and we are here. So we need to go looking for a perfect buck and a perfect deer. We're going to find plenty out yeah. in this direction. Let's go ahead and uh, get our poison bow ready. Not that we need it. Because we're going to go with a rifle. That's our plan, at least. Let me go ahead and toggle the scope, too. Once you toggle the scope, it'll automatically stay on next time you aim the weapon. That's how we're doing that. What do we got here? That looks like a white-tailed buck, but a one-star. So that's not going to do us any good. Uh, I did mention that, again, you can actually, uh, with our white... I think it was the white buck horn trinket. You know, the legendary deer, that's all. Uh, with that, sometimes it upgrades it, but it's not going to upgrade from a 1 to a 3. So I won't even consider it unless it's at least a 2. And even then, I'm probably going to go for just a 3-star. Uh, so we got some does out here. We should. There's a buck, too, I think. He's a 2-star, though, so that's not very good. Hmm. Pretty poor quality right now, but it's okay. Because, again, they're everywhere through this area. That's how we get this. That's still just a 1-star. Uh, we actually still have not studied the doe, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm too far away with the scope, but we can whip out the binoculars and do that. Go ahead and study it. <clears throat> get our compendium updated. Alright, good. Now let me get back to those weapons. Uh, I had the bad ammo. We want that uh, high velocity. Or, uh, it doesn't matter. We're close enough. See what, this is that same buck, I think, so. Yeah, well, that's a two-star, so. There's the two-star buck. Two-star deer. You know what? Let's just go ahead and give it a shot and see if it upgrades for us. Or let's miss the shot and not worry about it. <laughs> okay. I rushed myself a little bit. I'm normally a decent shot. Not on that one, though. So, okay. No big deal. We'll just head in this direction because, again, they're going to be all over the place. A little plume of smoke. We're going to go over that here uh, in some future episodes. That is a little outlaw gang hideout. We ran into one up when the... Uh... Well, thank you, sir. Uh... We ran into one of those when we were doing one of our earlier videos trying to track down that legendary buck. Do I want to do this right now? No, I don't. Those will pop in. We're, we're after one thing and one thing only, so we're going to try to ignore even random encounters. So we can continue heading out in that direction see plenty of deer. But we're going to head actually over in this other direction because they always spawn in here. We've gone far enough, the ones that we were just at over here might actually have upgraded for us. So let's check that out and see. Now, there's a dead one, but it's probably rotten. Easy, easy. I don't need a scope on. Yep, see, it's a rotten. If I can get it, there you go. So, that's not cool. Uh, one yep. thing to note, if we do take down an animal and we don't skin it and get there its parts, you can lose honor for that. So we're going to be okay. Let's get that. That was a perfect doe, so we went ahead and get that off our list. Now we just need the buck and the elk, and we're good. But yeah, if we were just to leave this here and run off, eventually it's going to turn rotten. Wow, look at those horsemen and shit. Squills. <laughs> All right. But yeah, if we would have just left this here, you can lose honor over that. So make sure you skin them. Even if it's one that's not of good quality, just go ahead and skin it. You can still sell those. I mean, they'll be cheap, but yeah, you can still use it. And then we will go after the buck. Now, I know where one consistently spawns in. Not to mention we had some back over in the direction kind of behind uh, this sea trisket there where we can always go. So we'll check that out real quick first and see if one of them popped in. We need to clean her, but first, we need to get us some creeping time. We could use that for our big game meat. And because we have the good trinket, we get double that. Now, I think that might be, yep, that's a buck. Oh, okay, seeing the antlers, that might be a perfect one. You can kind of tell. You get used to it, especially when you get so many of these. Nope, two star. But see if that one upgrades on us. It might. It might not. But it's worth a shot because we're right here. Get this last bit of creeping time. And horsey poo. Horsey poo. Oh, messed up. Faux paw there. I meant Miss Seatrisket. Follow us. 
We're going to come over here and skin this. See if it upgraded. Fingers crossed that it did. If it didn't, again, we got spots where we can go get them. Don't run over it for me. Thank you. Just Man. hold on, girl. <laughs> she is getting all up in our way, isn't she? I know I mentioned one of the very first episodes that your horse will freak out when you shoot guns around it, but then it kind of gets used to it. She's clearly already getting used to it, and we haven't even done a whole lot of that. So, he was good. Not perfect. So, it was worth a shot, though. Let's go ahead and get her cleaned up just a tinge bit, because she is dirty. Don't want to have a dirty horse out here. Not only it's going to lose health, but eh, it just seemed wrong. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy, girl. Okay. Okay, good. girl. Okay, what do we have right out here? Those are wild horses. We don't want to take any of those down, obviously. And yes, you will lose honor if you shoot a horse. And what sucks is not only uh, do you lose honor, but so we. And plus, I don't want to shoot a horse anyway. But there's going to be some missions where you almost have no choice and you still lose honor. So that's kind of sucky. Okay, that's another buck. Antlers look pretty good, but I'm guessing he's a two-star, so we just want to kind of ease our way up here. If we do just start trotting after him, he's going to take off, so. Yep, see, there you go, two-star. Okay, well, let's uh, head back over in another direction where I know they come in pretty consistently. Again, they're just kind of all over this area. That's why I really love this part of the map for hunting. You also get some pronghorns, and pronghorns actually can be a little difficult to get because they're especially skittish and they're fast like we can chase down deer and get them with the lasso and take them down and of course the pelt will not lose its quality at all yeah, good girl. and i think i've shown you that already if not you're gonna see it plenty but pronghorn they're hard to chase down they're, they're as fast as your horse yeah. is if not faster so that's cool we're just gonna head over here to this little pond build up a water whatever it is because a lot of times you have bucks popping in thinking that's one or a bush, whatever. But yeah, they, they pretty regularly pop in here. If they don't, then we can just turn around, come back. Yeah, nothing's popped in that I see. No big deal. I came across something there for a second. So we'll head back in this direction because we should have uh, more bucks popping in. This is why uh, I am going to put a label on this video that this is just satchels only. Because I certainly would love all y'all to watch this. And any of those that are going after them, you can do it along with me. But I certainly get it if you don't just want to watch this. Because we're going to do a few of these videos. Because, of course, we've got like six, seven satchels, something like that, that we have to craft. And we don't have to, but it makes the game more enjoyable. So, um, yeah, if, if you see the satchel making, that's all we're doing. Now, if there is something else that we do... Like, maybe get a new rifle. Um, I may put that in the title, too. That way you know. So if it's something you want to check out, you can. Okay, so it's just floating here. Okay. <laughs> oh, study a coyote. Haven't done that yet. I have a hard time shooting coyotes and fox. And they're, they're even more so like dogs and the wolves. So, probably won't do that a ton. There goes some more coyotes. Okay, that's a doe. We haven't freaked her out yet. Looking for a buck. Where are y'all? There's a buck. Okay. Well, we're gonna go and get our lasso ready. I think we can probably chase him down. And we'll see if in doing so he's perfect. He's a ways away, so it's gonna take us a second. You're all right, girl. At least get us in the right direction. That looks like a pretty good rack. Oh, two star. And they're not wanting us to get that perfect buck today, are they? So let's see if we've got one of them out here as a buck. There we go. Get this binoculars out. It's a little finicky sometimes. Two does. Another doe. Okay, no problem. Yep. You were kind of head up on the side of this hillside up here. Out there in front of us. And normally back looking in this area, you'll find some. Now that's a doe, so not going to do us any good. That looks like a buck maybe in front of us. Maybe not, but we'll have the lasso at the ready. Yep, that is a buck. Probably the same one we were just after. Whoa, oh. And he's a one star. There's another one though. Yeah. Two star. But you see what I'm saying? They pop up everywhere out here. That's why we love this part for our hunt. Is that another one or no, nope, that's just a doe, I believe. Yep. And one cool thing too, um, generally up, you will not see 
bucks with other deer unless they're does. So you're not going to see a group of two or three does or, or bucks. It's going to be normally they're solitary. Uh, let's see if there is one amongst this group of does. And anytime you see does, there's always going to be normally minimum three, if not four. But, oh man, we're scaring them all off. But as you saw, we can actually chase down a buck, so that's not a big deal. We're just going to see if there are any here. Nope. Okay, so we're just going to keep kind of heading off in this direction. That may be another Easy. one down there, because that looks solitary, but that is a doe. Yeah, and they do sometimes pop in does just one at a time, but generally they're in a group. Yep. It's pretty rare that actually we see that. What? You gotta help me out here, mister. Do I? Can you? Please. Okay, we'll help him out. Why not? I've been on the run for days. You know? Oh, 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 yes, yes, perfect. Can you give me ah, some pork? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. And? There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, loaded up with valuables, ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north. And then east, there's a fellow there who raises pigs. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Hey, where are you going, yep. horse? Come here. Where are you? Why are you running from me? Um, okay, so that's cool. Robbery tip. But we're not going to do that uh, anytime soon. You'll see later on why. Don't want to give it away. A lot of you probably do know what it is, of course, just by hearing that description for those that have watched or played before. So, anyway, back to it. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah. seek us out a buck. What I may do here in a second... Uh, one thing I know when I launch this project is that it's going to be very minimal edits, and I do intend on keeping it that way, but I think for this kind of stuff, just chasing down the satchels, I'm probably going to do some editing. So uh, I'm probably going to shut up here in a minute, and then when I, I'll cut it out. And then when I do actually come across our buck, I'll uh, bring it back in. And it just got foggy as hell, didn't it? Okay, well, that's going to make things interesting. What time of day is it? Still mid-morning. Easy there. Let's see if I got one down there. Nope, okay. So, yeah, I've kind of changed my mind on some of that uh, as far as the edits are concerned. I'm still going to keep it pretty minimal, but I'm not going to sit here and make y'all watch a 45 minute video of me just chasing a damn buck uh, which is rare it's not on the buck where that would normally happen they're normally finding a three stars like nothing so kind of weird that it's doing that on us right now but no biggie just got to have some patience but there are other animals that they're just going to take a while because first off they don't spawn in very often and then when they do it's hard to get one that's a three star the american yeah. badger i just know that one in particular it's a pain in the ass so uh yeah we are going to do some editing, so I'm going to go ahead and shut up now, and I'm going to go find us a three-star buck, and I will bring you back in when we are at it. And then, of course, I'll show you the location. Uh, and then we have those badger right here, and it's a three-star. So, no, I'm not going to get it. If we can actually get it, honestly, I'm, I'm shocked because this thing yep. is a pain in the arse. But we got to shoot it in the there right spot. Go. And we got it to a state three star. I hope we got it in the head. If we didn't, it may have dropped to a two star. Sweet. Okay, well, got one of the hardest ones out of the way. Uh, yeah, as soon as I'm saying American Badger, they're hard to find. Uh, I've never seen one out here during the day. That is weird. I've seen them out, I know, in a very particular spot, not far from here, actually just kind of over in that direction, where you can find them on a relatively consistent basis, but it's always at night. So that's funky, but we'll take it. So we're going to need that one later on, so when we get back to camp, we're going to go ahead and give that to Pearson. It is very important to know, and I think I've said this before, but when you do that and you give what you're wanting for... Uh, the satchels and all that stuff for him to crack. You have to give those to Pearson. If you sell them to a trapper or a butcher, that does you no good. So, okay. Let's see if this is a buck that's three-star. If it's not, nah, it's just a doe, I think. Might have some antlers on it. If this isn't it, then I'm going to shut up. And I will find one and bring you back when we are there. Just double-check one more time. Yeah, just a doe. So, okay, I'm going to go find one, and I will be back with you in just a minute. Oh, 
Well, I say that, and you see what just happened. It popped up right in front of us. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'll be back with you in a little bit. And then they just pop up right in front of us, so that was convenient. That's weird, because bucks, they're normally finding three stars is not hard, because, again, they're all over the map. Oh, God. Oh, God. And they will do that. They will charge you from time to time. <laughs> and that can freak you out. I'm glad I actually saw that. When you saw it, he was dropping down the antlers and was coming after you. He was pissed. <laughs> No oh, man, I don't think they would care because bucks don't like each other, but he was uh, he was coming after us. Can't harvest all the parts. Yeah, we've got too much uh, venison on us, so. Yeah, because I got some blood on me, whatever. But, okay, cool. So, I'm going to get us to another part of the map where I know we can find elk pretty consistently because that's the last thing we know. And then we've got our first satchel out the way. Also, we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed ourselves because we're getting a little low on health. Nothing crazy, but I would like to fill it. And then, new rule, if we eat, horsey poo eats. For now. We're not going to always do that because we get a lot more hungry before she does. So, yeah. Oops, sorry. Wrong button. I'm going to uh, get us up to where we can find an elk and I will be back with you in just a second. Just need to start heading north. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We are very far, far northeast point of the map. I guess we can technically... No, you really can't get up there much, but yeah, we can uh, very... Elk are kind of all over. Check your RDR2 map app. You can see they're in a lot of places, but I know they very consistently spawn through this area. So this will be one where they're normally kind of right around the water's edge here. You'll always find some white-tailed deer, too. Normally just does. I already see some deer running. So let's see if we can find us an elk in here. And if we do, is that one right there? Yep, that is an elk, a cow elk. And it's taken off. None of these were three star that I know of. Oh, quit doing that. Focus on him. Gosh. Yeah, he's a one star, so that's not going to do us any good. That's a two star. That's a two star. Hey, we got some more bonding going. That's good. Okay, get off the rock, please, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, yeah, they, they're consistently in this area. So, kind of a trick to do yeah. is just leave, come back. Um, oh, we haven't stayed in moose yet. That's cool. Oh, 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 don't run through the trees. Okay. Um, yeah, you'll see moose up here on occasion. But, yeah, so just kind of run out of the area. So, I'm just going to kind of head down in this direction, down the railroad tracks a little bit. You have to be careful because cougars do spawn through here. But that should be good enough. So we're going to head back and see if they popped back in yet some more elk. Sometimes it, you have to give it a couple shots or go a little bit further. But we'll see if we've got another one in the Whoa. area. We may not have gone far enough. I don't see any. That's no big deal. We can always come back. There's a whitetail freaking out over us. Anything along the water's edge or over here in the woods. We'll go ahead and use our eagle eye. It won't hurt to do that, right? We've got some uh, spices there we could pick. But I don't see an elk. So, yep, kind of like what I planned on doing with the buck. I'm going to uh, find us a three-star, and I will bring you back in once we have it. Be back in a minute. Hopefully just a minute. <laughs> it may be six hours later for all I know. But, yeah, we'll be right back with you. Here we are. We've got us the elk. That's going to be way too far away. We're going to try to lasso this big boy. Okay, that is our three star. As you can see, we can do this on an elk just like we do the deer. Okay. Look away if you don't like it. The good thing about doing that lasso is it automatically keeps whatever quality it was. So you're not going to ruin it that way. That's why I like using the noose sometimes on that. Um, I would think that uh, that would not be something you want to do in real life. <laughs> Uh, probably with a deer, too, because those hooves, believe it or not, on deer are really sharp. Um, so, yeah, you wouldn't want to do that, but it works in the game, so that's cool. But that's a very big animal to lasso and try to bring down that way. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this back to camp. Ugh, got our perfect one. That was big. We needed that. Now we can do our satchel, the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up Miss Trisket. And then I'm going to get us back to camp, and we will craft our first satchel. So I will see you in just a minute. It won't take long. 
All right, we've made our way back to camp. So now we just need to donate all this stuff to Pearson. Supplies are low, as you see, they're all red there, but I'm not worried about that. We're too early in the game to really care. Eventually we do, but... Don't need to remove it. you either. I thought I was the butcher. You're covered <laughs> in blood, man. Well, I'm getting stuff for you. You told me to go get it. So let's go ahead and do our crafting upgrades. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft now, you something if you bring me the right materials. Right. Now, see, we can't craft it yet. We still have to donate that stuff. So just a little word to the wise. So let's go ahead and... This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Shut up. Okay, so badger claw. That's cool. Many We're thanks. getting stringy meat. We've got that perfect badger pelt. We've got two buck antlers. We're going to hang on to those. I'll show you why later. Um, pheasant feather. We may be able to use that for arrows, so we'll leave it to yeah, have the fat. Why not flavor up that stew? And we'll give you both those goose, fe goose feathers. We've got two perfect deer pelts. We need a lot of perfect just doe pelts anyway yeah, for this crafting. To seeing what you can turn that into. So no worries. Perfect buck, perfect elk. So Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. now let's go into crafting. If you're struggling for space in your satchel, just bring me the right materials and I'll work something up for you. Hmm, okay. I wasn't paying attention. See that bottom thing? Upgrade the medicine wagon twice, the ledger, so we have to pay attention to that. So we can go do that real quick. That's nothing. Um, and then you see, you got other things, like we got to do to uh, five total animal carcasses. Um, Remember, we've done that already, so that'll unlock. Like so we just got to do those different things. So we're going to go take care of that. Those Thank are really you, simple. Mr. There's not like a really hard challenge involved with that. So let's go ahead and upgrade the medicine wa map wagon twice real quick. Ledger. Come on. And if we don't have the money, we can donate the money. You see, the camp only has four bucks. We got 500 so what it's going to do once we purchase, it's automatically going to take the balance from us. Should, anyway. The remaining balance, and then it'll just stay at zero. Okay, we got it. It's upgraded. It's cool. Got to go through its little animation. So, yeah, you see it did that. We dropped from 500 to 20. So, got to do it our second time. And so that money is just going to come directly out of our pocket. So, camp is still nil, but we covered the cost. We see it. It's cool. Uh, one thing I do, the good stuff, um, whenever we upgrade, I don't know if other, if they like slowly diminish away, like other members of our gang come and grab this stuff. Um, I've never really paid that much of attention, but I've always thought, well, I'm the one putting all the money in for it. I'm just going to come grab what I can. Now, we can't carry a ton of stuff right now. That's how we're doing our upgrade of the satchels, but we can carry some. So I'm just going to go and grab whatever it is that we can grab. Let's, uh, Get in the first person view so we can see what we can grab here. There we go. Got some guarma rum. Got anything else here we can take? Not looking like it. Okay, cool. We can take some bourbon. We'll just sell it. We don't ever use it. Get the potent bitters. And then we can take another potent bitters. Can we take this other one? Yep. Can we take another tonic? Nope. Okay. No worries. So, yep. Um, we got that. And then let's get back over to Pearson one more time. And now we should be able to craft that satchel. How are you? I'm good. Come over here. I need you. We're going to run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Yeah, well. How are you on space in that bag of yours? All right. See, we can Just do it. Now, here's the cool thing. Um, it shows you once you can craft it. and well, I think it does it anyway. Yeah, it does. This is going to increase the carrying capacity for all types of tonics. And uh, from shop bot to crafted version. So, uh, eventually we're going to work after this one. All it says is greatly expands the carrying capacity, but to get it, you just have to craft every other satchel. So let's Looks go ahead and get great, that crafted. Pearson. And so now we can do that. Now that we did that, we should be able to carry more of these items over here. So that was actually a good thing we did that twice. They are intuitive. That's why they did that. So now you see we can take all this stuff. I think we can now carry five of each of these. Heck, it may even be ten. We'll check it out in our satchel here in a second. But we're just going to unload. We're going to take everything they had. Like that guarma rum that's way up there. There we go. Full up on gin. No more health cures. We can't take a miracle. That's good. Another miracle, or I think it was one of them. Alright, so we've got everything we can carry. That's why we do that. So, pretty neat. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open up that satchel. And we can see how much we can carry. Yeah, we can now carry five of those. It was three, so now they're five. 
So that's good. All right, awesome. So that was just a fun satchel episode. Again, we're going to have uh, some more of those. I'm thinking, um, because again, I want to get all this before we move on in the story mode, but I do want to do some story so it stays fresh. So what I'm probably going to do is focus on the next several episodes of just getting the satchels out of the way, but intersperse it with maybe some uh, legendary animal hunting. We can still go finish some of that stuff. And then maybe do a couple of Strauss missions. And then uh, a couple of the other ones that I know won't just move us on just yet. Because again, I do want to keep the story going so it's not just all this. But anything that's just a satchel, I'm going to label that. So at any rate, thanks for watching. Y'all have a wonderful Thursday looking into a Friday. Um, I am planning, I put this in my last LSPDFR video, my goal, and I think I'm at a point where I can do it, is it gets you an RDR2 and an LSPDFR every day. I want one of each. There may be some days here and there, of course, where I'm busy and can't do it, but that's the goal, and I'm right now at a point starting pretty much yesterday and now today that I can do that. So that's my plan. Kind of got all my hardware set up how I like it, and so we're going to roll that way. So at any rate, have a good evening. Uh, thanks for watching.